Good day and welcome to the news. Why Tinubu has lizard tattoo on his buttocks? Former Ocean State Governor Oyilola. Now, the news in details. Former Governor of Ocean State Ola Gunsoye Oyilola has claimed that the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has a lizard tattoo on his body. Former Governor Oyilola made this, this remark during a political campaign yesterday in Oshun State, ahead of the Oshun July governorship election. He alleged that everything about the former Governor of Lagos State and current presidential candidate of the APC is fake. He said the identity of Bola Tunubu is fake as well as his academic records. While speaking on Tunubu's origin, he said Bola Ahmed Tunubu is not from Lagos State as many believe. According to him, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is from Ocean State. He said to prove that Tunubu is from Ocean State, he should uncover the tattoo of lizard on his body, which only the Oshun indigenous tattoo on their bodies. Everything about Tinubu is fake, his age is fake, his state of origin is fake, his educational background is fake, his father is fake, his mother is fake. Tinubu is not from Lagos State, he is from Ocean State. Ask him to raise his clothes. There is a tattoo of a lizard on his body. Lagos people don't put such tattoos on their body. It's we Oshun people that do that. Ola Gusoye Oyilola, former governor of Ocean State, while campaigning for the PDP gubernatorial candidate in Ocean State yesterday. So um, this is coming um, as the presidential election and the general election of 2023 is coming closer. And like I've always said pre in previous news, I said as the general elections are coming closer, we will see more and more um takes on this presidential candidate people are going to be talking more and more about them and saying different things so yeah we have former um governor of ocean state in the person of olagun soye um olagun soye Unidola, talking about how tunubu is not an indigenous of lagos state and he talks about how um Tunubu has a lizard tattoo on his body, and that is um that tattoo is only um had by um indigenous of Oshun State. And like he said, a lot of things about Tunubu is fake. Like he said, he said um Tunubu is fake. He said everything about Tunubu is fake. His age is fake. His state of origin is fake. His educational background is fake. His father is fake and his mother is fake. Now, I can't really speak for his father and his mother, but then the age factor. A lot of people have questioned um, Tunubu's age, um, especially as he has been celebrating his birthday. And I think he celebrated 60 years, not quite long, if I'm not mistaken, and um, some months back. And this actually led people to say, oh, Tunubu cannot be 60. I mean, a lot of people are saying he cannot be 60. So, um, um, that's just something that we can't really say. So, um, his, um, state of origin. Yeah. Tunable state of origin has been something that has been up for debate a lot of times. As we all know, Tunubu has served as the governor of Lagos State for two terms between 1999 and 2007. And um, a lot of people have come out to say that Tunubu isn't actually an indigenous of Lagos State. We've had journalists, we've had researchers, we've had historians coming out to talk about Tunubu not actually being an indigenous of Lagos State. And they've actually said it, be, it, it comes from Ocean State. I've seen a place where um, the um, journalist actually said Tunubu is an indigenous of Ocean State. But then from other people don't necessarily write the state is from. They just say, oh, it's not from Lagos State. So here we have the former governor of Ocean State saying it's from Ocean State. And uh, yes, his state of origin has been something that 
has caused a lot of debate, especially in recent times, as he's vying for the post of president, with a lot of people saying he's not from Lagos State. Um, he said his educational background is fake. And we've seen this, we've seen this play out just recently. We've seen the whole issue with his education and, um, primary and secondary school, him attending primary and secondary school in Ibado or not actually attending primary and secondary school in Ibadan. And we've seen how that has really played out. It's people bringing more and more evidence to actually back the claims that Tinubu didn't actually attend primary and secondary school. He said he attended certain primary and secondary schools in Ibadan while he was actually running for the post of governor. But now that he's running for the post of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he has actually said that he can find his certificates, which has actually led people to believe that he didn't actually attend primary and secondary school. And this actually led people to dig back and they actually found a petition that was filed against Tinubu when he was governor of Lagos State for allegedly lying about his educational background. And, um, it also led to the University of University of um, Chicago State University issue and thereabouts. So we've seen a lot of back and forth and a lot of issues with Tinubu's credentials and uh, people saying, "Oh, he did this. He didn't do that. He did this. He didn't do that." And um, like, um, that just that's part of the politics of everything. That part of the politics that we find ourselves in, and it's not only here in Nigeria. It's practically everywhere in the world. Politics is a dirty game. If you are getting into it, be ready to have your life history dug out from anywhere. Things you feel like you've covered up properly will just pop up any moment. And um, Tinubu is having his fair share of that. We're seeing a lot of um things popping up and coming up about his background, his educational background, um how he grew up, certain things being said. A lot of people actually saying a lot of things. And this is not going to be ending anytime soon. And it's only going to get utter and utter as the um election actually draws nearer. So we're going to see more of the backlash on this presidential candidate as the um Election is actually drawing closer and we know the campaign season is just by the corner and we're going to be seeing more of this insults and a lot of different things being um, used against this presidential candidate. The more they start campaigning and the faster the election is coming near. So yes, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. Don't also forget to like, share and subscribe to our news channel so you get an update anytime a post is made. That's it for us today, guys. Thank you and God bless.